Hi guys, wow, so <laughs> hopefully I have some time right now to interact and do my regular schedule regular schedule regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> um, so for today's Busted Out, I, I had the idea I want to use these things that are in here. Um, I've done a video about it before, but I couldn't find what I was sp like specifically looking for, but I found them and I remembered to put them somewhere where I would find them again so I can make this video. And then I have another item that you guys have asked about when I used it. People were still confused on how to use it. And it is a really old item, so I thought, that, well, I'll try to use both in this video. We'll see. Um, if I do have any links in the description box, there will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were purchase items to those links. Again, uh, that one item, uh, the stamp positioner basically is super old. And the things that are in here, I don't think you're gonna find now anyway but and you know sometimes I use different inks and other things that might be in the description box so all right before we get started really quickly um it's been a mess okay uh, I know the kids are going to come up on basically Friday they have a little short day in the morning and then we have three weeks off which is great but again when the kids are home it's a little harder I mean you guys have been here the last you know nine months or more I know like you guys found me through the pandemic but um and I did what I could anyway, but uh, sometimes it's easy when the kids are home because I don't have to go anywhere, but other times it's nice to have the quiet, right? I've been doing things like this while Miranda's like in school and I can do something real quickly while she's online learning. Um, and look at this. <gasps> this is the first time I use this little loom and oh my gosh, you guys, it works up so fast. So this is just a woven strap and I'm gonna put it on that purse in the Machila YU whenever I finish it. So I'm hoping this will get me to finish that purse because I love this strap. It's so pretty. I just want to show you some of the stuff I was working on today. Instagram some mooncakes I made while Miranda was like in class online. So really, you know, I like to do a lot of things just here at home. But anyway, that was just a fun share because it's so pretty. I was like, I have to show this to people. It's so easy too, you guys. So what I have in here is a bunch of like the dollar section things and what I wanted to focus on was like these stamps, the little cheap stamps and dies, which we all have. I know I've seen them like, oh, it's a dollar. Oh, it's two bucks. I'll buy it. And then you see that they're oh, never been opened. Maybe it's too kawaii. Maybe it's not really my style. Maybe it is. I just wanted to have it, you know, <laughs> all these different uh, things. Um, this is the one I used before, but this isn't really what I had in mind to use. I, I made a video of that one. But when I found these things, I put them all together, so that's why you know, these things are in here. But um, yeah, you know, just like little, even like this little Lawn Fawn one, this is super old. Um, as you can see, it's yellowed. Um, just a little cheap kind of small sets and how you can make it into something more substantial, right? That's kind of what I did with that little dinosaur set. But when I saw this little pineapple, I thought this might be a cute one to try. It's kind of small though. Um, I'll maybe make a four inch square card. No, I don't want a square card, I want it to be this way um let me think I, I i think i want to use this but let me think about how i want to use it the other thing is a stamp positioner and this is a clear stamp but it does have a um you know we'll see uh stamp positioners basically help you place your stamps where you want them so you know exactly where you're stamping and really they were meant to work with like cling stamps where you can't see through them i don't know if i have any in here um but basically clean uh your cling stamps yeah i don't have any in here um, or a red rubber stamp. I'll try and find one so that way I can show you guys how to use it the right way. But let me grab some stuff and we will get okay, started. I think I'm gonna use that stamp set. I'm going to turn this around just because I think I already got the other side dirty. I, my guillotine has been just like doing its own thing. When I lift it up, it just falls back down and it cut the paper where I don't want it. I'm still gonna use it. I'm not gonna let that bother me, but you might see like a complete, like real harsh line right there, right? Um, what I want to do first is we're gonna do a little inking. I'm gonna choose one of these guys to make a background. Now, the bananas are really cute. Um, I don't do thanks a bunch. Maybe we'll do both. I was just gonna do, you know what? Let's do the bananas in the background and we'll do the pineapples on the top. Again, whatever it is that you have that's, you know, or any stamp set. I know a lot of times we get stamp sets where they have something tiny and it's like, what am I gonna do with this? Or, you know, the whole set itself. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna rub this with the embossing buddy, you guys. I don't even, only a couple places carry something like this anymore. I think I got this like 10 years ago. I don't even know what brand it is. But anyway, so there's that. Um, and I'm gonna do a little bit of inking up with some embossing uh, ink and then embossing powder and clear so that the white comes through. Again, you can do whatever color you like however you want to do this, but uh, what we're going to do after this is model this with like some different colors, so that's how I'm going to do it. I was thinking about using watercolors, but I'm just going to make it quick and easy. So we have the embossing pad here. 
whatever embossing pad you have. And I'm going to randomly stamp this wherever, just like if I was making any other background set. It's just a little bit harder to see. A lot of this is going to be covered up because I'm going to put another piece of paper over this, but obviously you just want to still make a nice background so it looks more organic. I opened my window because I haven't opened the window in a long time because it's been so cold, but it's like 70 degrees right now and it feels great. So I'm like, yes, open the window. Uh, I'm trying to do these in different ways. Now, if you want to do this with the stamp positioner, you know, go for it because what happens is um you'll be able to see better now not this i'll i'll talk about that in just a minute because that might be confusing okay so you're gonna say well it's clear how am i gonna see it i would use the stamp positioner do this in an ink that you can see and then know where you're gonna place it and use the positioner but we'll talk about that in just a minute and then i'm just using some clear embossing powder i do have some crystal like that kind of has like sparkles but we're just gonna I'm kind of putting this all over, but let me make sure it gets down this way and down over here. And there's still some powder, even though I used the embossing buddy. You guys saw that. I did it. I'm going to uh, take this little brush and just clear away any of the powder that got where I don't want it. As you can see, there you go. There's some here. And then I'm gonna hit this with an embossing with my heat tool, and I'll be right back. Okay. Think that's done. Okay. All right. And I just want to use like tropical colors, so I'm going to model this back down a little bit. I'm gonna give it a second though. So while I do that, I'll pull out these colors. I just wanted to use like juicy tropical colors and these might be a little bit juicier than I like, but we have um, Damson Wine. This is the fast drying inks and normally I like to go with, um, you know, water reactive ink, another layer. You can just put that on and then add some water and have fun with that that way. But I'm just gonna lay this down. So Fuchsia and Parakeet and these are all quick dry Harmony inks. And I'm just gonna get started just Take whatever little tool you have and just put it however you would like. So because of that little dustiness, um, you can see it's not going all the way through because there was some of that little, what I call dustiness, I don't know why, but the little granules that I didn't get rid of when the embossing buddy didn't do the best job of getting rid of. Again, I just want this to look really fun and juicy. Okay, so there's the pink one, and then I'll try the purple, even though the pink and the blue, if this was a water reactive ink, you can probably get a little mixture on there or a pigment ink, but the pigment ink you would have to like set or else it just won't dry forever. So that's not something I would recommend for this kind of thing. But I think back in the day, I do have a video where I use pigment inks to do backgrounds, but then I lock them in and it, it works really nice. Oh, this is just Crafter's Companion stamping paper. I think I probably forgot to mention that. I'm not super concerned about this. <laughs> just trying to lay down some color. It's always fun to go back and add a little more. You see how that just totally changed that kind of look of the pink and the blue there? The purple. And I probably have some blending going on this mat. That's okay. I'm gonna bring this purple one back. Oop. Whatever is on it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so that's gonna be a background. And to be honest, I was gonna do it this way, so I guess it's gonna go like this. That makes sense. I meant for this to be oriented in this manner, not portrait, but like a landscape. And I forgot, but guess what? It still works, so we're good. <laughs> All right, let me put this stuff away and clean up and then we'll move on to the next okay. thing. So I have this other scrap of paper that basically came off of this when I went to cut it. And I'm gonna layer that, but I'm probably gonna trim this down too. It's a little bit um, big. But we also have the words thanks a bunch, but we'll see what happens. But what I was gonna do is stamp this little guy in the middle and then stamp this cool like design on either side. Now, if you have a stamp positioner, because these are clear, you can pretty much do that, but you don't really aren't 100% sure, 
you know, just because you see through and you're like, okay, I'm pretty sure the line's going to be there and you go to do it. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. So that's kind of why these are really nice. I don't know if I'm going to color this in. I guess I'm going to color in with um, alcohol ink. So I'm just going to get this on here as well as I can. It looks like it wants to repel this because, again, it's just a cheap little <laughs> stamp. So I'm going to put that on there. Hopefully that's pretty good. I had something on here. Not bad. Pretty cute. I thought those were the eyes. That's what drives me nuts about this. But there's like a little closed eye and then like a little dot for an eye. I don't know. Fine. Okay. And then I'm going to make a mask of this. Now, this does have a die. I don't know how close the die cuts to the image. It looks like it leaves a lot of white space. So I don't want that. What I want to do is make our own little like background. You can do this with anything. Um, so what I'm going to do is stamp this on a scrap piece of paper. I have this piece here. And literally just stamp it and we're going to cut it out. So you're making a mask. Um, some people like to do this on post-it. Uh, something like that because with the post-it little stickiness that's behind it, it helps you stick it down when you go to use it. So you can think of doing that. Um, they even sell post-it paper that is... Um, like, I'll post it with the stickiness. You know what I'm saying? The stickiness is all over it. I don't really need the top part, so I don't care about this. But I do need this edge to be nice and really pretty much on the line when I go to cut it. Alright. And this isn't that technical that I really need it to have a stamp positioner to do this. But, um... I have it and I want to show you guys again about it because even though it's a very simple mechanism people were still quite asking about it the last time I used it so I'm gonna put some repositional adhesive on this and oh, okay and stick a hair down <laughs> of course all right put that right over that and now when I stamp and if I stamp over this it's gonna look like whatever is behind it because this is gonna be in the foreground I hope that makes sense okay we'll check that out in just a minute it depends on how long you've been doing this you understand me or you're like wait what so Stamp positioners. This is the one that I have that is super old. Actually, let's put this away. And this is the one I just got yesterday in my haul from uh, Art Impressions. Same thing. It works the same way. This one has an L shape and this one has its like T-square kind of thing going on. Um, and then a little piece that you stamp on. Same thing. This is going to hold the shape, you know, your stamp or whatever you're using. And then there's a piece of plastic in here that sheet right there that is basically this thing so what you do is you take yours whatever you're going to stamp with if it's a cling stamp if it's a wood mounted stamp whatever the stamp is put it on however you want that can be super crooked it does not matter because wherever you put it that's how you're going to use it and actually i'm going to move it over here even though i said it can be however you want just to make it a little bit easier that it's butted up here but you can put it over here it doesn't matter so, whatever carrier or thing you're supposed to stamp on, have that. There's a slick side and there's a side that's more um, grainy on this one. The other one is acrylic, so it's clear on both sides. It's slick on both sides. So, I don't know. If you want to stamp on the slick side, go ahead. I always stamp on this side, as you can see, and I didn't take it off. If you use this stays on ink on this, it is going to stay on. I suppose you can use some alcohol to get it off. There's like a little rubber foot on here. So, people were asking, like, what do you... You just butt it up against there. You see that? I mean, it's just on here. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> when I showed it, I was like, I, I don't know. Okay, so you have that. Now I'm going to ink this up. I'm going to stamp it here. When I stamp it, it's going to leave the impression or the design. And then I can use that to guide me. If it was like this, you can do it that way. If it was a bigger, way bigger stamp, you can do it that way. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. This thing doesn't have to be the size of your stamp. Because even if it was just a little piece like the Art Impressions one, if your stamp is this big... You know, it's not going to move past this area. So, unless you're, like, really making it do that, which obviously you're watching it, you know, it's not where you want. So, I want this here. Stamp that there. So, I'm going to ink it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do I want to use? I'm going to use the Memento just because it's nice and dark. The other one seemed like it wants to wipe off. So, I'm going to use Memento. Keeping it on here, we're not, we don't care about our paper right now. We're just trying to get this to be stamped. Okay, so this was all tucked up in there, in this. So now when I bring these items over here, now this isn't the biggest deal. I could stamp this and not care where it is. I don't care, 
right? <laughs> it's fine. But I'm just trying to show you guys how to use the stamp positioner. I think um, Ranger also makes one from that girl. I forget her name. I have that staycation thing sitting here. I should know her name. This thing, the same lady that makes this. Wendy Vecchio or Vecchi. Vecchi? Vecchi? Vecchi. She also has a stamp positioner and, and it's bigger, I believe. So anyway, all right, so now when I take this over here, if I want, let's say I want this little pineapple to a jaunty angle like this. Ooh, guess what? I actually do need it to. Huh. Okay, let's pretend. You know what? I'm going to take that off. I thought I only needed the bottom to be cut, but no, nope, I do need all this. I forgot the top might stick out far enough, <laughs> you know. All right, so let's adjust this. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's been kind of hectic. I told you guys earlier, yeah, Miranda's class is like, come back at this time, come back at that time, come back at whatever other time, make sure you do this checklist and all online, like, go away and come back, go away and come back, go away and come back. It's really not even the way it was at the beginning of the year, so it's kind of weird. But there we go. All right. So now we're gonna put this here. Oh, and even top it off now. <laughs> One of the little boys is like, I tell you guys, is, kept talking about how he's going to Brazil. And he's like bragging he's going to Brazil. I'm like, why would you go to Brazil? And uh, oh yeah, they're going to Brazil. He's already there. <laughs> like why? <laughs> why? Anyway, all right. I'm gonna put this here. Now this is where I want this to stamp. So I'm gonna put that here. I'm lining it up with this. I'm pushing it against there, you guys. The plastic, okay? I think I showed this pretty well last time, but people had a lot of questions. So I'm going to hold on to this. Actually, let's go ahead and ink this up and get it ready. I guess I'll use Memento since it's already on there. I'm going to ink this up nice and juicy. That's where I want it. I'm going to remove the guide, or, you know, the one that shows me where I wanted it. I'm going to put it, butt it up against here and press it down. Now I let go. I don't care because I already did the thing, but... Okay. Not the best impression, but it's okay. When I remove this, it looks like it's behind because we covered this up so that piece got stamped here. This is just old stuff. I'm sure if you've been stamping for a while, you know all about this kind of thing. All right, I'm gonna do it again. Just cause I want the same design. And I'm gonna put it over here. And now I have a little idea of where I wanna put this guy. Maybe like that. And you see, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be straight. It can be wherever. There it is. Now, I did mess up that one little piece because I didn't, I didn't take the time to cut the thing as well as I should have. But there it is. It's a cute little pineapple. What I'm going to do is grab some yellow and some green. I'm going to color in the yellow face. Uh, with alcoholic marker and then I'll do the green I don't know if I want to do it on all of them though I'll do it on this one if it seems like I want to do it on these two I'll do that but I will be right back all I'm gonna do like I said I was debating if I should do green on these guys I guess I could always come back and do it if I want to later now I'm gonna finish this off just because just taking a micron and get real close to that that was completely off there you go. all right hmm I don't know like I said I can change my mind fix it up later um I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is it's pretty centered I didn't really pay attention to that and then I'll have the thanks a bunch like on something else and cut it out Oh, maybe I'll use something else so I can... Okay. Um, 
Let me think about how I want to do this. Oh, the other the last thing I want to do on this and see how they're kind of pinky and weird. I totally forgot I was going to come in here and rub, rub, rub the bananas. <laughs> So you can see it's a little bit more bright than this. Hopefully you can tell. So I'll take a moment to rub that ink off and uh, grab a card base and whatever else I want to do to finish this okay, up and I'll be right back. Before we wrap up, um, again, I would just wipe that off. <laughs> there we go. Don't forget because it might dry on there and then it's just there. Not the biggest deal or end of the world, but there it is. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is this. I know that green is unexpected and maybe I shouldn't use the green, but you know what? I'm gonna do it, so. That's fine. And now I feel like I, I'll come back and color those if I end up coloring them. <laughs> now that I look at them, I'm like, oh, I think it needs to be colored. Okay. Um, oh gosh, come on. I just want to glue this down. So I'm gonna get this down and then we'll do um, the little sentiment and that's it. So it just, hopefully it's a way to show you guys to use those little things that we pick up or even if it's a stamp set you have that just has a lot of small things. Um, I know sometimes we have a lot of Crafters Companion ones that have like a little small images. I don't know. So I did cut the paper down a little bit because when I was looking at this, it's hard to see the bananas because the image is kind of big, you know, and then to have this right on top. So I did cut it down a little bit. I think I'm just going to stick it all down too. So I'm going to go from this guy, oop, what am I doing, to this guy. Like I said, if I decide to color in, I just wanted that guys, those guys to be in the background. This is a weird <laughs> stamp. I still see the these and think they're pink. I, I don't know. I, what I should have done was block that out. See? How cute is that? Next time, that's what I'll do. Um, again, make your own little mask and just cover that up. Or don't ink that part or ink it and then, you know, take that part off. Because um, this is much cuter if it was like this. Aww. Oh, well. <laughs> Anyway, this one, like I said, did have a die, but, you know, I just showed you something to do if you don't have one. Or, again, if the die has too much around it. So, we'll put this here. And I'm just sticking it straight down. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I want to come back later and color in those pineapple tops, I can do that. And I'm kind of centering this. Oh, I didn't even say what size this ended up being. Sorry, guys, I already forgot, so let me measure that. I was just cutting it down until I thought I had enough of the background where it's not too, oopsie, there goes something, uh, not too claustrophobic, you know, but at the same time you can see the background. So let's see, the inside one is three and a half, this little inner piece, oh there goes something, by two and three quarters. So I probably did this one, yep, three and three quarters, basically, by three. Now what's funny is, I'm measuring it and it's way off and I use the guillotine cutter like using this I'm giving you the numbers that I would have wanted but if I really measure it I mean this is weird anyway all right there's that I kind of kept it up towards the top just a little bit but you can center it however you like and then I want to stamp I think thanks a bunch and when I stamp it I'm gonna use one of these things, and this is new for me, but again, I always forget to bust things out, <laughs> use the stuff we have, and I end up um, just cutting this out by hand, like straight, or with my guillotine, or with my paper trimmer. But I just grabbed these guys very recently. The uh, Stamp Club sentiment set from Tonic. And so look at all these different things I could use. So I thought, you know what, I'll use one of these. And I'll try to remember to do that, because that's going to be my next issue. I should keep it here, but it, eh, well, I'll keep it in my little A5 folder, I guess. Oh, this is cute. This one has a little movement, but the words are pretty straight, so... Let me see. Do you think they'll fit in this one? If they won't, mail. this one's cute, too. There's a lot of nice things in here. I think that's going to be too tight, so let's try this next one up. Again, these are geared towards the stamp club stamps. <laughs> but I figured if I can use them on other things, that'd be good, too. Let's try this, and if it looks like too much space, then maybe I'll do something else. Uh, let's do that. Let's trim this out of the uh, marquee real quick. So not only do I live near a firehouse, like literally in my cul-de-sac, at the end of my cul-de-sac is a firehouse. Um, I live near the freeway, so unfortunately, there's always a lot of emergency vehicle type things going on here. 
and hospitals. There are hospitals nearby. <laughs> so I guess that's good for me. Easy to get on the freeway, you know, fire, we're right here. <laughs> it's all good. Sheriff's apartment, very close by too. Uh, let me see here. Let's put that there and put this here. I'll put that back in so the hold in just a second. Yeah, no, I think that's cute. I think we're good. And then that's it. I'll pop that up right there with some... I will use some pop dots this time. Again, I'm just using this one. This stuff is so thick. Whatever this company or brand was, I think it's EK Success. Oh my gosh. They're huge. I thought I needed a little extra piece, so let me get a little bit more for this last piece here. All right, guys, so that's it. So hopefully that showed you, because I did. Last time I used the stamp position, a lot of people were like, I have that, I have no idea how to use that. I really wasn't sure what you were showing. So hopefully, <laughs> uh, going over it like I did, showed you a little more. Just basically, you gotta tuck that, um, the thing that you stamp on pretty close into that area. I forgot I took the sticky off and stuck my finger right on it. And um, yeah, so there's that. Aw, oh, thanks a bunch. Before I stick that down really hard, I'm gonna eyeball it. I think it needs to go over a little bit more this way. All right, there's that. I am gonna go and grab something really quickly because I have to show you guys the um, the moon cakes I made. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm just going to the other room. Um, let's pick one that's pretty. Okay. On the same tray, the very first one I made came out like this, and as you can see, the sides are real round and it doesn't look that great. And then I used a nut mix, which was even crazier to use because it wants to fall apart, right? It's like nuts that you squish together. But look at this one. This is like one of the last ones I made, much better. So yeah, for the first time out, I think they're okay. I can't taste them yet. You're supposed to put them away for two or three days so that this softens, but pretty cool. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Any links that are pertinent, I'll have in the description box. So hopefully that showed you a little bit more of just using something so basic and um, making something, an actual card out of it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.